Hey, welcome to uh, Theology on Thursdays. This is a new series that we are doing uh, to kind of go under the surface a little bit and dive a little bit deeper into some biblical topics that maybe we don't think about uh, a whole lot. Uh, Let me tell you, these are going to be short little three, four minute segments that we put out once a week. Uh, And I will tell you about the title, Theology on Thursday. Ology is the study of something Uh, Theo is God, and so you put these together, it's the study of God. So we're going to talk about some deep things uh, that pertain to God. And so we were talking about, you know, how how do you want to start this series? And I don't know of a better place or a better way to start than going to page one in your Bibles, and that's going to be Genesis, is the first book, Genesis chapter one, verses one and two. The first verse says that in the beginning, God, that's the Theo, created the heavens and the earth. The second verse talks about how the earth was without form and void, but the Spirit of God hovered on the face of the deep. If you think about that in relation to John chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, he later says that nothing was made without the Word. So we finally figure out that the Word becomes flesh and dwells among us. His name is Jesus, as we know him. So on page one of your Bibles, you have God the Father, you have God the Spirit, and you have God the Son. And so that really begs the question of why? We understand that they're there. You've got God creating, you've got the Word there who's later going to become flesh, and you've got the Spirit hovering over the waters. But why are they there? Well, there's a lot of different answers to that, but I think we can sum it up by saying the reason is love. And let me explain that to you in the next minute or so. Well, we understand that God is love. We understand that God wants people to love one another. We're not talking about people who just feel good about other folks. We're talking about people who look at others and want to do the best for them and want to treat them in good ways and want to treat them in the way that they need to be treated. And so when you think about the Godhead in the very beginning, there's the Father, the Son, and the Spirit as we know them. They are not creating people like us in the very beginning to receive love. Because if you listen to the words of Jesus over in the latter parts of the Gospel of John, Jesus talks about how I love the Father, the Father loves me. There's this whole uh, um, overbearing love that happens within the Godhead. And so it's not that God created people to get love. God had to create people then because love is overflowing within the Godhead. He creates people to give love. And so we can later read verses about God is love. If you want to be like God, it means you're going to go love other people. When people would go to God or go to Jesus in the flesh and say, what is the most important thing that I can be doing? He would say, you need to love God. You need to love your neighbor as yourself. How in the world do we know how to do that? We would later learn that we learn how to love because God first loved us. And so we're going to talk about some deep things. And I didn't know a better place to start than in Genesis chapter 1 on page 1 of your Bible. A study of God begins with understanding that God created you and created me and created all of us to love us, to treat us in good ways, because he wants to be with us, not just here and now, but for all eternity. If you're going to boil down God to what he really is and what he really means, it's that. That he is so loving that he created people like us to enjoy us forever. That's Theology on Thursdays.